General Overview. So to get started, let's take a look at the new system. This is the entry page or home page for the new system and it's really an aggregator page that pulls information from throughout the course and brings it to one central location for students and instructors. Things like announcements, blogs, journals, content, and a lot of other information all come into this central home page and set up like a dashboard where information comes in in different places. Um, you can have calendar entries and a whole bunch of different things to make this extremely useful and you can reorganize and customize it as you see fit. But this is a pretty sharp change from our previous system and maybe a little jarring on, on, on first look. So let's take a look back uh, at our Vista course. So this is our WebCT Vista course, Blackboard Vista. And this is where we used to come in, and this was our course content home page. And we had our course navigation over here on the left, and some designer tools down below, and so a lot of that has actually maintained. Of course, we have a course navigation right over here on the left, and we have some um, different kind of functioning tools for instructors over here on the bottom. So that's pretty similar, but it's this first page that might seem um, fairly jarring once, once we take a look at it. So let's find out where our content went. So during the migration, elements that were here on the course content homepage went a couple of different places. Things like the syllabus, and start here, prepare your computers, uh, if you were part of the, the institutional templated courses, have all gone into information. So right here in information is where um, elements such as your syllabus, start here, uh, your online organizers, prepare your computers, these kind of files went into the uh, information. Uh, things like your header and banner, they all went into the information area. So again, what used to be here on, on the home page, a lot of it has come over into information. Other files that you may have had on your home page, if you had course content here, um, study tutorials for students, things like that, they will have migrated over into a different area, over into content they will have migrated over into content. So there's there's a lot of things that have come over into content. Learning modules, all of your learning modules, um, elements such as web links, media library, these have all come into the content area. So your learning modules will have migrated in uh, and, and they're going to be structured inside of here. Here's some learning module examples and then you can click on individual learning modules and move inside and here we go so here's here's our learning module so we can see that they pulled in other elements such as web links media library that kind of stuff they've all come in here too all the rest of the files that used to be on the home page are now located also here in content so however you had them they've come in if you notice everything is now one structure it's all kind of like a tower of, of files here um, the ability to have multiple columns is no longer in the system, but it lays out pretty well and you, you'll, you'll get used to some of the changes as we move forward. In the old system, we had our calendar tool and it was pretty good. In our new system, there is a greatly expanded calendar. One thing to be aware of is that not all of your calendar entries will migrate, so you're going to want to double check. But as you uh, have an opportunity to gain additional training on the calendar tool, it is very, very useful. In fact, you can sync it with external calendars. Um, it's really a great tool. So next, let's go ahead and take a peek at communication. So in the old course, we had, we had um, really a course mail, we had discussion, we had chat, and there were blogs and journals and things like that. Uh, inside of discussions. In the new system, inside of our communications area, we have announcements, which, which frequently used to be one of the first items. Now that's all um, put together here in a communications area. So there's announcements, there's chat, there's course messages, uh, discussion board, send email, blogs, and journal, all inside of this area. So let's take a moment and talk about course messages and send email. In Blackboard Vista, the mail tool was really a course messaging tool and all of this information was contained within the course. It didn't go out to external email uh, addresses. It all happened in, inside of the course and was archived and backed up with the course. In the new system, that functionality has become what's called course messages. And inside of course messages, you can, uh, you can send things back and forth just like you did in Vista. You create messages, you browse for people, and everything is contained within the course. It does not leave the course. But the functionality has now split and there's a new feature 
that you can leverage and that is the send email tool and the send email tool allows you to send email out from Vista to um, someone's external email account and and that's that's a, a an expanded functionality that we did not have in the previous system so let's also take a look so we, we've looked at information calendar we've looked at content we've looked at communications um, let's take a look at assignments and assessments in the previous system we had the assignments and assessments and they come over pretty much in the same manner so assignments are going to be in assignments and assessments are going to be in the assessments area as well you'll have some additional options as you move forward developing in the system but for right now they came in pretty well intact but you kind of want to check all of your assessments your quizzes make sure that everything is working properly and and the rest of the the quick start guide will actually help you um, as you migrate through so assignments and assessments have moved in into their own content areas and next let's take a look at groups so the groups tool very similar to the old one where if we were over here in teach tab you could come down and you could do your group manager and you could set up all of your groups and things here well the new groups tool functions in a very similar way except for you have a lot of expanded options you can create wikis and separate areas for groups and um, just some expanded functionality that you definitely want to um, explore um, so the groups tool right over here on the course navigation menu in the old system if we wanted to get to uh, the tools we would have had to come over to manage course and come over into tools and then we could look at what tools we could turn on and off and hide and show in the new system on the course navigation menu there is a, a content link called tools inside of here you can see pretty much most of the tools that are available inside of uh, Blackboard 9.1 or Blackboard Learn and here you can turn them on, turn them off, hide them, show them um, and this is just another way to get to tools but there's other ways that you can deploy them within content areas such as learning modules and things like that and that will be covered in another tutorial um, there's also my grades and there's a help functionality as well um, inside of uh, the, the Blackboard system one of the things that you'll need to get a little bit used to is down here you had gradebook in the new system so if we take a look at the gradebook here it pulls up excellent in in the new system you have what's called the grade center and it really has some um, expanded functionality and, and you're going to want to really explore this feature um, really lays out a lot of features that have been asked for and now we're going to be able to pursue so at a glance that's a general overview of where content actually went from the system so from from Vista coming in right here blackboard we're coming in right here um, this is pretty much an overview of, uh, of the migrated stuff.